Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about study abroad opportunities at University of South Florida in Tampa. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also, subscribers can comment below what university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 7 application requirements in USF. First, an online application that costs around $30. Second, unofficial transcripts. Third, GRE score. Fourth, a resume. Fifth, a statement of purpose. Sixth, three letter of recommendation. And seventh, your English language proficiency test, that is your IELTS, TOEFL, or PT score. University of South Florida has an acceptance rate of 44%. This means that the school is moderately selective. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure when you choose to study abroad in USF. If you need the specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credits. This can take at least 24 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 24 months of course for an in-state student would be around $12,943 and for an out-of-state or interstate student it would be around $26,315. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus fee and other service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options. So many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $1,300 and go up to $1,700. And the average rent for per person is around $600 to $800 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $120 to $140 per person. You can also join a special Facebook housing group for University of South Florida and connect with other interested students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. Students can use free shuttle service or public transit bus for off-campus transportation. The nearest international airport to USF would be Tampa International Airport, which is about 19 miles from the university. Next, let's talk, talk about on-campus jobs. USF has an online job portal for on-campus job applications. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. International students can work 20 hours per week during se uh, semester in progress and up to 40 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $10 to $14 per hour. Pursuing a master's degree at University of South Florida comes with a mix of benefits and challenges. Some of the pros for an international student are as follows. First, strong academic programs. USF offers a wide range of master's programs, many of which are nationally recognized, particularly in the field of business, engineering, and health sciences. As a research-focused university, USF offers extensive research oppor opportunities with access to advanced facilities and funding, particularly through its partnership with industries and healthcare institutions. Second, tuition cost. USF offers relatively affordable tuitions, especially for in-state students. Even for out-of-state or interested students, the costs are competitive compared to private universities. Third, location. USF is located in Tampa, 
which provides students with access to numerous internships and job opportunities in diverse industries like healthcare, technology, and finance. Tampa's warm weather and vibrant city life are additional perks. On the other side, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, large student population. With a large student body, some students may experience challenges in receiving individualized attention from faculty or dealing with administrative issues efficiently. Second, weather. Tampa's subtropical climate brings high heat and humidity, as well as the potential for hurricanes during hurricane season, which might not be appeal to everyone. The University of South Florida is a solid choice for pursuing a master's degree, offering a wide range of programs, affordable tuition, and a location ripe with opportunities. However, it may lack some aspects of more traditional campus experience and national recognition which are important factors to weigh depending on your priorities. Remember that individual experiences when you study abroad can vary. So it's a good idea to reach out to current students or alumni to get a more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.